Don't feel sorry for me. Over the past five months, I've had so many people feel sorry for me. I'm so sorry this happened to your grade seven year. Stay positive, James. Well, I am positive. You're the one that's going to drag me down. Sure, there have been times I've felt disappointed and frustrated. Times I've been robbed of good experiences like sports matches and a lot of fun times with my friends. But let's take a look at how unfair our struggle really has been. 5.45 a.m. alarm. Start the rush. Now. 45 minutes till I leave that front door. 45 minutes to shower, brush my teeth, get dressed for school. Fact in 5 minutes going to the washing line to find a pair of socks. Take vitamins, make cereal, charge your iPad for 8 minutes, cram into the offering concerts for a spell toots, pack for sport, back to the washing line, and go, go, go. Versus 7 a.m. stretch. Check your phone for the soccer scores last night. Yes. Chelsea didn't lose. There is no Premier League. <laughs> Slippers on, hot chocolates, and YouTube. 7.30 family walk. I'm going to cruise this one on a skateboard. Back at 7.55, Google meet with the class in my Sleepy Joes. In my own time, beautiful. The teachers couldn't see you. I didn't have to ask them any of them to go to the toilet. If I felt the urge, I went. I watched TikTok between maths and English classes. Break time, relaxing in the pool, basketball, tennis, sports, table tennis, or driveway cricket. Historically, in the middle of June of every year, the grade sevens write two weeks of exams. Before this, of course, we have to study, which is another two weeks. Do you want to know what I did in that four week period? Still <laughs> feeling sorry for me? <laughs> this was meant to be one of the best first team rugby sides hard rest ever had. Well, we were unbeaten through the whole season. Even legendary Bobby Skinstad's here lost four games. Where were you last year when I had to tackle a 105 kg open side flank from Victoria Ruff, who had single handedly picked through our entire bench? You didn't feel sorry for me then. Well, trust me, I felt sorry for you. And don't even get me started on a hockey team. Presently ranked number one in South Africa. Joined with 500 other schools, but still number one. <laughs> there is a great quote from Dr. Rick Grigsby who says, Never let schooling get in the way of a great education. During lockdown, I bought chairs, bar cramps, fire pits, learned to cook, and also designed an indoor golf course. Real education. Family time. Okay, maybe you can feel a little bit sorry for me on this one. I have never spent more time with my family. I grew my hair in turn two, and I think I'd have been the hungry man by the first team. Captain, of course, by Kenton Saunders. <laughs> and there's no play in turn three. I just saved myself 300 hours of practicing just one lap. <laughs> Who here gets kissed by their mom in the car park? Well, I want to know a lot of kisses. They're not allowed to get out of their car to their friends for half an hour. It's straight to open to my PlayStation. I play golf twice a week now in school, something I've never been able to do before. Also started tying flowers for fishing. Forgot to brush your teeth this morning? Don't stress. No one can see your teeth or smell your breath. Every single morning I pass a test before I even get to my class. <laughs> no one can steal my chips off my plate. They can't reach. <laughs> I also came first in the entire cross country. In my family. <laughs> <laughs> More recently, a few of us have to self isolate. Mr. Burns sent an email to our parents and our quotes. I'm acutely aware of the complications and frustrations this situation is almost certainly going to cause you and your family. Here is a picture of Ben of and Salvat and I self isolating. <laughs> As you can see, we clearly may take 1.5 minute distance. <laughs> it's not all good. There are sports matches, parties, fun days, discos, and festivals that are missed. There are days that are filled up, but not today, boys. This has been a year that I've got to play less, talk more, compete less, or contemplate more. I've had an incredible eight year journey with all of your heartbreak. Don't feel sorry for me.